this is one of my favorite red smiley breaks and this is in the key of C and we're gonna be playing right out of this C chord position for most of this break and if your hand cramps in a C chord you're not gonna like this one very much um, because we've really got to hold it down hard because we're gonna be playing some melody notes and strumming in between those notes kinda of like a Mother Maybell Carter style guitar playing um, and it's also very deceptive when you listen to this recording. It seems pretty simple, but it's actually pretty hard what Red's doing. Um, I'll play it for you, and then we'll see if we can take it apart. Okay, we're going to start this with the same G to C run that I showed you earlier. Alright, that's the same one where you're walking from a G to a C chord. Except we're already in a C chord, we're in a, the key of C, so we're just going to change the fingering a little bit here on the bass strings, um, and we're just going to do the same exact run. Alright, so that gets us in that C chord position that we're going to be playing in, and I'm just going to show you the melody notes, I think, first, uh, and then I'll show you how to play the melody with the strumming in between. I think it'll be a little easier to learn that way if you can practice the melody notes and then add the strumming in later. So when you get to that point, then we're going to rake down the 6th, 5th, and 4th strings. Alright. And like I said, usually all of uh, Red's uh, licks and picking is down. It's all down, hard down strokes. Like that. All right. And then we're going to do it on the fifth, fourth, and third strings. But when we get to the third string, we're going to note the second fret on your third string. So it sounds like this. And then we're going to hit your G string open. And then back to your C chord position. See, I'm holding all of this down. Keep that in mind. Even though I'm just showing you melody notes right now, keep that C chord held because you're going to be adding strums in between these notes. So I'll play that again. Back to your C chord. Uh, that note on your second fret on your fourth string. All right. Hit that again and walk up to the uh, third fret on your fourth string. Hit your G string open. Now, uh, I'm showing you melody notes, but you also want to do this with the right fingers because what you're going to do is you're going to hold down your first string uh, on the first fret. And because we're going to be strumming a little bit of a G7, like that. So when you do that walk up to your G chord, strumming like that. So you want to do this with your middle and index fingers. Alright, so you do that walk up, hit your G string open, and then back to your third fret on your fourth string, to your second fret on your fourth string. Fourth string open. on your second fret on your fourth string. So let's play all of that. All right. And then we're going to start it over again. So 
it's pretty much the same the second time until you get to that. We're going to hit this third fret on the fourth string and back to your second fret. D string open. And then you're going to hit your bass, or, well, it's not your bass, it's a bass string, but uh, your third fret on your fifth string. So that's the melody note. All right. Probably a little confusing the way I'm explaining it there, but this is the first time I've broke this down too like this, so <laughs> I'm learning with you. Um, so let me play that whole thing. show you how to put the strums in here and it's going to be kind of hard to explain this but basically it's wherever you have an opening to put a little bit of a strum in there in between the melody lines when there's a pause you want to do that so I'll try to play it as slow as I can it's kind of hard to play slow but um, to give you an idea of what I'm doing <laughs> see what I'm doing it's hard to hold it down and play it slow like that and put the strum in there but I think you can get it from that uh, you just see I, wherever you have an opening put a little strum in there a little trickle of a strum and that's why it's important to finger these notes in the right with the right fingers um, because you want to hold down that G7 <laughs> I just keep my hands right in those positions, your C and your G7. All right. So if you keep that in mind, that'll help you get this. Um, like I said, always make sure your notes are loud and clear. It's really hard to get that sound that he gets. All right. Now this is a little ending lick here that Red does. Now this is from a live version. I heard him do this more often than he did the recorded version. On the recorded version, when he ends this, um, a little C run. And he ends it, I think that's how he does it on the record. But um, the live version is. All right. And that's a real interesting C run. I really like that. So what he's doing there is after you come to this little walk up to that melody note, 